Okay, so I'm going to start a little differently than I normally do, because I, I think hopefully it'll be valuable. And I'm going to start with no technology out here either, because I want to lay a foundation that it's not about technology, it's about relationship. Okay. So a little bit about me. I'm Mike Leonardson. I'm originally from Minneapolis, Minnesota. I have lived, I lived the first 21 years of my life in Minneapolis. And then these last 21 years, I've been in Central Florida. I'm married, been married for 16 years. I've got three kids that are 12, 10, and seven. And I'll explain why I'm sharing all this in just a minute here. A few things. So I have been a single agent. I've done it all myself. I've been an agent on a team. I'm currently an agent on a team. I am the market center tech trainer, and I have been in real estate for three years. Okay. The reason that I'm passionate about the topic that we're going to talk about today is because of my family, is because I want, I would rather go to my boys' tennis, and they started tennis this last year, and, you know, on a Saturday morning than we generate. <laughs> I'd rather go to my daughter's choir recital than, you know, do that. So if I have the ability to utilize technology and leverage technology to help me in my business, then I'm going to do that. And hopefully there's some application i mean there is some application for everybody what would you rather be doing right than exactly. doing another thing of lead generation so just a quick story i actually just had a closing yesterday congratulations thank you yeah. and it came from a smart plan wow. that i had started running when i started in real estate and i had forgotten about it oh it was running in the background it was asking every once in a while for referrals from the people that i know back in minnesota and this was actually a really good friend of my mom's that you know they they sold their house in minneapolis and originally i was like you need to sell your house you need you know that whole thing and they just they just closed yesterday on a house in Tavares. So, and I work as an agent part-time and I was still able to do that. So that's the power of smart plans. And we'll get into what that is, how to utilize it, all that stuff in a minute. But so real quick, our objective for the day is you're going to build your first smart plan and activate it okay 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 so you're going to so the benefits of this class is after this class you'll be able to download set up and launch smart plans to automate a portion of your lead generation and follow-up okay does that sound like a good yeah. benefit sound like it is definitely okay yeah very cool so before i get into it do you have what questions do you have about this topic or let's let's start here how would you say what is your relationship to technology it's not as good as i want it to be but um i just want to thank you for all the patience that you have with me and i appreciate it and and i learn a lot coming from you awesome i appreciate coming to your classes that. and since i've been here i learned so much so I'm not where I want to be, but I'm gradually I'm getting there. Awesome. And with your help, I know I will get there. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. You're welcome. When I say automate, what do you think of? Automate is ongoing, like ongoing, what is it? Is there another word for it? An ongoing text, like ongoing, you keep going, like automation, like, like a reminder, something like a reminder or something. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. So that is, that's the foundation for what we're going to do today. And I'm going to now show you 
what a smart plan looks like, how to utilize it. Like I said, how do we download it, set it up and launch smart plans? Okay. So now we are going to jump into command, but hang on. Okay. I'll show you yeah. and then okay. and then we'll do, okay? Got it. And if you want to take notes because when you write it down, you remember more, yes, right? Yes, definitely. So I'm just going to hop into command here. Okay to the let me take a picture that I'm sharing the screen. Okay, so I'm hopping into command. All right, so <clears throat> where we are going to be is in the Smart, Plan. Smart Plans okay. applet, which when you click on the KW shows the name of the applet. So you don't have to have that open. When you okay. recognize the icons, you can just click on it. Right. The first thing I'm going to talk about is I said we're going to download Smart Plans. Okay. Now, you may already have Smart Plans you probably already have smart plans in this section right here called My Smart Plan. Yeah, I do. I want to show you how you can download other ones, and then we'll show you how to how to activate those ones. Okay. And then I will get a little bit into the if you want to create one from scratch for a different usage. But I always like to say. Well, one of the things we say in Keller Williams all the time is we love R&D. R&D normally means research and development. In our case, it means rip off and duplicate. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So the, the right. great thing about our company is, and this, this whole resource here, is that there are agents who have done the work for you already. So they've already built out smart plans and like, here we go. Here's somebody email reminding your database to fall back in 2023, including tips on preparing their homes for the colder months ahead. Okay. Maybe this would be something that would be fantastic for your database. Okay. Cause you, you do have, like, I have people up North. You have people up North yes. too. Yes. So you know, we can, okay, let's download that one. Let's, you know, that'd be, that'd be a great yeah. one. Okay. And that's all I have to do in order to have that smart plan. Okay. Now, if there's something that you're specifically looking for. Okay. Um, like neighborhood farming. Well, yeah, let's look it up. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Farming your neighborhood. Okay. Here we go. Now we have, this has been downloaded 417 times and has a three and a half star rating. Okay. So it's got three steps. It lasts a month and there's one touch in there. So if we click on view steps. It sends an email and then it delays and then it restarts. Oh, so okay. that, let's add that one too. So that one is not a postcard, it's an email. You have some with postcard and some with emails. Yeah. Okay. So this is an email. So okay. I'll, I will show you in this one how we okay. can modify it. Okay. Okay. All right. So we have a couple of smart plans that we can add people to. Okay. Now, before you add people to a smart plan, what you're going to want to do is make sure that everything in it is correct. This is... Once you download it, the setup is incredibly important. So it's download, setup, and then launch. Okay. Yeah. So the setup portion of it is we downloaded a smart plan, okay. my fallback 2023 email. And now I'm going to click over here on this icon for edit. Okay. Now, 
it's going to have the information there. It's time to fall back. We look here. We preview the design. So it's got the market center name. It's time to fall back to here. Okay. Um, Sunday, November 5th. Okay, so I can see an issue with this. Can you? Agents, let me see. Contact more details. Exceptional. So, I don't, yeah, that language. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's Latin. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm not going to send that out to my, oh, okay. my people. This is a, this is a remnant. And that's, that's a great, uh, example of why we have to go through the that, setup yeah. process and why we preview everything. Yes. And another step that you can do in preview is actually send this first to yourself and okay. see what it looks like. Okay. I'll show you that in just a minute here. So this is using this email and then that is it. So if I click back here, and I click edit design, it's gonna warn me saying, hey, if, if you're using this somewhere, you need to know that. Mm -hmm. um, this text, okay. I'm just gonna delete it. Okay. And I'm gonna hit save. Oh. All right, so that email, we're gonna go back to the smart plan. And here's, here's a quick tip too. So if you are in one applet of command and you need to go work in another applet, um, what I recommend doing is right-clicking and opening the link in the new tab. Okay. And then you can go do what you need to do in that applet and then just click back over. Oh, okay. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay. Got it. Okay. So we're going to go back to here. And now we have the My Fallback 2023 email campaign. So we know November 5th is when the clocks are gonna turn. Right. So now I'm gonna show you. So it's, we've downloaded it. Okay. We've set it up, meaning right. all the information in, in there is good. Okay. And now we need to launch it. Okay. There's a few different ways that you can launch. Okay. You can add contacts here. And let's say you just, you can select all oh, okay. Or you and then add to the smart plan. Oh, okay. Then you have the email address, a lot of them, right? Yeah. So if I add to the smart plan, I can remove contacts with errors. And then it's going to say, okay, when do you want this to start? Okay. These are these are a few options and there's a few different use cases. Okay. So if we start all now, that means all of these people mm -hmm. would get the yeah, email today. Yeah. If we start all on the following date, yeah. This to me makes more sense to maybe on the the third. Okay. Send it because the fifth is you Time know change yeah okay yeah and then the other option that you have is stagger the start over the next few days that doesn't make sense for this smart plan but it would for another type of smart plan which uh, we can talk about so then i would just hit confirm i'm not going to because there's yeah uh, oh yeah agents in here and stuff so yeah okay now i'm gonna hit I'm going to cancel that, but you'd hit confirm and that's okay. launching the smart plan. Okay. And so <clears throat> all we had to do was download, set up 
view yeah. the edit and then launch. launch it. Let me show you this. This is my preferred way to add people to a smart plan. Okay. I'm going to click on the contacts. And I'll show you in a minute why this is my preferred way. Okay. So if I click here, now I have 158. All right. And if I add to smart plan, then I can find and select oh, that one. Okay. I'm going to remove the contacts with errors. Now I can start on the following date. And you see how many are up there now? Yes. Review contacts, 157 yeah. instead of 19. Right. So that other way inside of the inside of the smart plans applet, you can only do, well, you can click through, but it does groups of 20 at a time. Okay. Got it. Got it. And you could click through all those windows. And, mm -hmm. but if, if you've got hundreds of people in there yeah, and you got to add them, add them, add them, it's so much easier to just do this out here. Okay. And I'll, I'll show you how to do that once again. So if you're adding everybody or you can, also click okay. through, find the ones you want. Got it. Then you, this bulk action shows up, click there, and it drops almost like perfectly to add to smart plan. Oh. So when I add to smart plan, then I just pick the plan I want. Right. Start all on the following date. That makes sense. Hit confirm. And that's launching the smart plan to those that you've selected depending on. Okay. So that's my preferred method oh, okay. of adding people to smart plans, which makes sense, right? It yeah. saves you time. Yeah. <laughs> which like, it does, yeah. And I also find it less confusing, that layout. Okay, so my farming your neighborhood. So if I click on edit here, and we saw that this one has an email, a 30 day delay, and then it repeats. Okay. okay. So I'm going to take this time, I'm going to show you how we can change this to, to set it up for, for success. Okay. So let's see. So this is saying neighborhood update. I mean, you might want to change this around, but this is just a text email, which is fine. But if we send it out right now, um, this is going to look terrible. Yeah. Right? Because so, yeah, it's going to say your subdivision name there. Right. I don't think we can just say... Yeah. So you would need to change this um, to the specific subdivision that this smart plan is going to. Okay. Like you are, you're farming the neighborhood. So you would write the name it's of the neighborhood. Name, yeah. yep. And just make sure everything is formatted correctly. And then here, obviously put your phone number. Right. Now, let's say you wanted to make this a little bit more personal because an email that's going to have one level of reception and one level of communication let's say you want to add some more depth to this you can do any one of these things over here on the right hand side so let's say I'm just reading through the content of this. Yeah. So what would be a good thing to do after you send this email? You would follow probably door knocking. Face door face. knocking? Yeah, face to face. Okay. So <laughs> wouldn't it be nice to have a, to, to know who to, well, to know. The address. Uh, let's see. Yeah, let's let's see what we can do here. So we're gonna I'm gonna add that in. I'm gonna create a task. I'm actually gonna move this up. I'm 
And then I'm going to do this on this side of the way. Move that up. How many days after the email do you want to go door knocking? Seven. I mean, all, all you would really have to do is let's set it for, you know, a reminder on the seventh day, you know, you're getting ready, you're figuring out what you're going to do for the day. So 7.45 a.m. Okay. Or maybe you could even do it the night before, like give me a reminder that it's going to be a high priority to do today door knock um follow up on the <laughs> this keyboard <laughs> is like really fast. <laughs> it's it... typing really fast yeah, i'm <laughs> typing too fast for it follow up on the Farming email. I know what I mean that was. What the mm hell? -hmm. Oh, I'm just slow on my typing for it. Okay. Your contact patterns. I was curious about that. So then on, on day seven, it's going to have a task that will show up on your home. Maybe you want to do like five days so that you can prepare. Okay. Like, okay, I need to, and this is actually going to be due in two days. So the reason I did that is the reminder will, will pop up and say, okay, in two days, remember you're you're going door door knocking okay and then maybe this would be so if they got an email how will you know the address of those specific neighbors <clears throat> um, it's not a postcard yeah i mean you would have to have their contact information okay already in the system like the address? Yeah. You no, know, based on the email. <clears throat> and so then you could put in their information okay. here. So you know this person got the oh okay. Got the information. Okay. And then let me show you this too, because you actually have the ability to send texts mm -hmm. through command if you've paid for a Twilio account. That's my next question. Which I highly recommend it. The cheapest plan is $3.16 a month. And that's between 100 and 300 texts. Well, I did sign up for it, but I didn't select any phone number yet. That was my question. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. So okay. easiest way to do it is to put in an area code that you want, and then you need to pick one of the numbers that's available there. So you can't put in your number. Yeah. I'm showing like Texas or what the number goes like Texas. Oh, yeah. Oh, so okay. when you set it up, uh -huh. you'll click on choose my number, set up my number, something like that. And then it will say, what are your preferred numbers? And mm -hmm. you can put in like, uh, usually what I tell people to do is, I think you can choose the, the front end of the number and then just put in the first three digits of the area code and it'll pop up oh, one okay. in the area, mm -hmm. you know, like, yeah. So how does it work, Twilio? How does it work? Because so, you have to use a number. But yeah, how does it work? So <clears throat> there's an automated text that is sent from command. So as it's set up right now on day six, okay. it would also send a text. Okay. Then, yeah, you it would show your Twilio information here, and you would put in your text message there. Oh. Now, since this is a repeating plan, mm -hmm. you could actually set up a dynamic text message 
And so you could add a number of different texts in there and they would rotate through. So it's not, it doesn't feel automated to the person who's receiving the text. Now, in order to be able to do this, you need to have their phone number as well. And they have the ability when they get a Twilio text to unsubscribe from the text okay. and they won't get any more. When it pops up in command, it will say, I attempted this and they unsubscribe. So we're not doing that part anymore. So yeah, you can type your text information in there. You can use emojis. When you use an emoji, people tend to respond yeah. more because it, yeah. it feels like it's coming from a human person. <laughs> and yeah. the thing is, it is coming from yeah. you. Exactly. It's like if you, it's like if you wrote out and yeah. So it's like if you wrote out all the texts for like, say you did six of these, you did six months worth of texts and you copied and pasted them somewhere in your phone. And then on that day, you went, you found the one for that month, you copied it, you pasted it in, mm -hmm. and then you sent it out and you did that for everyone. Oh, okay. That this smart plan is going to, which I'm assuming this neighborhood has 200 households at least, you know? Yeah. So it's like, do you want to do that 200 times and mm -hmm. copy and paste that? Or do you want to automate it? And like I said, I would rather watch my kids play sports than yeah. sit there and text yeah. everybody in the neighborhood. Yeah. So yeah, though that is another thing you can do. Let me just go over okay. how to modify things in the smart plan here. So let's say, let's say I hit that button. I'm like, oh, no, 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 that isn't the one I wanted. Mm -hmm. So if I go down here, all of these things here are going to be related to this one that they're on. Okay. It's a little confusing because mm -hmm. especially with these arrows, you need to make sure that you know which one you're doing it to. Okay. So this one is the delete button. Right. And then it's going to say, are you sure? Yeah. And then I'm going to say yes. Now, this text is not going to let me save this plan because anything that has a red star, you mm -hmm. need information in okay. there. This is how to add another text option. Going back to the static message, we are currently in the dynamic, meaning it will cycle through those messages. Now, if I hit here and delete that. Um, so now our plan is set up that an email will go out monthly and then there'll be a reminder to follow up the email with door knocking. Oh, okay. And then you can add other tasks in there. Maybe you want to add something in here that creates a task for you to, hey, remind yourself what's going on in the neighborhood, mm -hmm. um, what houses are for sale, so that you can talk intelligently when you go door knocking, you know? Because right. yeah. if, if you knock on somebody's door and you're there to be the real estate expert and they're like, oh yeah, that house just went for sale. Yeah. Okay. And it went for this much. And you're like, mm, yeah. oh, really? <laughs> like who's, yeah. The, who's the expert? Exactly. So you yeah. could create a, oh. a task reminder saying, hey, neighborhood update's about to go up. And then I will also show you another thing that that will help in this. But okay, so that's great. Now let's say you want all of this to happen as soon as you get new information for a new neighbor in the neighborhood. Okay. So you find out somebody just moved in, okay. you go knock on their door. Now what I can do is I can say, I can add something called a tag. Mm -hmm. So let's say there's a specific neighborhood. Okay, there isn't one created already in this demo account. But let us say that 
this is our neighborhood. Okay. So as soon as this is added to a contact, they would automatically be added to this smart plan from this point forward. Oh. Once we choose this trigger. Yeah. So it's it's an incredibly powerful tool and it's one more step of automation that once you add a trigger event up here, then you can just have it that, oh, I met a neighbor and then you add the tag to, to that neighbor and then they would automatically be added to the smart plan. Okay. Wow. Which is... <clears throat> pretty cool yeah so i have one for example that is open house if i meet somebody at an open house okay it automatically sends them a text it automatically two days later sends an email what do you think of the open house and then it gives me a reminder to call them um and then there's a follow-up plan beyond that other things you can do like you saw here you can restart the smart plan but let's say this is something where, like, this is a recurring one. But let's say this wasn't a recurring one. Okay. Let's say you wanted this to run through once. And maybe this is like an introduction to you. Well, you don't want a recurring introduction to you. So the introduction to you happens. And then we add them to another smart plan. That smart plan is going to be a quarterly call. Oh. So intro to me, I'm going to call you every quarter. Or intro to me, here's my newsletter. Intro to me, and you can add them to multiple smart plans. Mm -hmm. okay. Intro to me, I want you on the My Monthly Neighborhood Nurture mm -hmm. on day 31. So now they're added to two smart plans on day 31. Does that make sense? Yes, it does, yeah. So you can see how you can modify these and really create a funnel that these people start to get to know you. They start to receive automatic touches from you. And you start getting reminders of, hey, give this person a call. They've been getting information from you. Give them a call and just follow up on the information you've been sending. That makes sense so far. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Do you have to do your specific neighborhood or you can do like like a neighborhood? You can do you can do any neighborhood you want. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. So let me show you okay. that. I am going to discard changes. There's an incredibly powerful Keller Williams created okay. um smart plan that I want to touch on. Okay. And it's called my monthly neighborhood nurture. Okay. Now, this one was sending an email once a month. This is also sending an email once a month, but this is sending all of that information to that individual that we were talking about that is the neighborhood update. Okay. It's saying this house sold for this much, this house is on the market for this much. And so you can have an intelligent conversation around that. You cannot do editing of this smart plan. Oh, okay. But I will say this, that this one doesn't need editing. It just works. Oh. Let me, so I can, I can pull up a, an example of what that looks like, but I can also kind of show you here. So here is a neighborhood. Mm -hmm. As long as you have a name, okay, that's that's the only thing you have to have a first name in order to create a contact. But the more information that you have, the more touches you can have with this person, the more you can be in front of them, top of mind, and then you know, yeah. hopefully move them from a contact to a client because you sell their house. Okay, so we have entered his his address and so his neighborhood is populated here. And so if I click on the preview, this is very similar to what it looks like. 
and they can see which which properties are for sale <laughs> in the neighborhood, market snapshot, see the average home price, average square foot. <laughs> That's on current and then sold. That's wow. kind of, you know, so yeah. it is That's awesome. It's fantastic. Yeah. And you look like a genius and all you have is their name yeah address and email <laughs> oh, okay and so when you are door knocking right you could go around to your neighbors and you probably don't have their email addresses I you got their name and address yeah because that's very public information but you could say i have a fantastic tool where you can stay up to date on the market i promise all you will get from me once a month is an email Okay. One email. That's it. Is that something that would be of value to you? Because I don't want to bother you. I want to give you value. I want you to know what's going on in the neighborhood. Right. Yeah. You know, and based on your conversation, you can show them the value of that item. And then all you have to do is go in here, find that person. This is the other way to add people to a smart plan is from their contact. Okay. So then I can add to smart plan, my monthly neighborhood nurture, and then I would just start that now. So you can see how smart plans, there's, there's so much power in yeah. automating yeah. some of these. Okay. A couple other things here. Let's say you create an amazing smart plan and you've put a lot of work into it and it is, and you love it. And you're like, man, I want to share that with the world. Okay. You can actually come over here and publish it to the library. Wow. Now, if you publish one that is already out there, it has to have a unique name in order to publish it, but you do have that ability. And you can see here on your smart plans, how many people are currently in the smart plan and then by clicking on the eyeball mm -hmm. you can see everybody 20 at a time again you can see everybody that the smart plan is going to see when it's created how many days it lasts um yeah mm -hmm. and the total number of touches Okay. Those are some great tools. Definitely. Yeah. And if you have an idea that nobody else has thought of yet, you mm -hmm. can just hit create and build one from scratch. Really? Yep. Wow. So my recommendation though, is to like sketch it out on a piece of paper, the steps, because it's easier to do that and then build it in order because you have to start with the first step and then, you know, the delays and stuff like that. So, okay. All right. Yes. So my only concern is most of my client, my contacts, I only have the first name. I don't have the emails. I'm going to keep calling them to get those information, which is a lot. Yeah. But but that's what I need to have, the email. Uh -huh. It's very important. At least that. Yeah. So if we come out to here, okay. um, this goes off our topic a little bit, but it'll, it'll show you mm -hmm. your database health. Okay. This will show you the phone number, email address, uh, and neighborhood. So let's say you have 2% of neighborhoods of your database. Okay. That's not going to be a fantastic plan for, yeah. <laughs> for you, the <laughs> one we just talked about. Yeah. So if you've got a high number of phone numbers and not a lot of emails and addresses, well, you're going to start with phone numbers yeah. or if you've got um you know. names and you, you just go door knocking then while you're door knocking then you can you meet the person at their door you know what their address is because you're at their door so you right. can add it to them in your phone on oh okay so and a database that has more information is more valuable to your business. Yeah, mine is not that healthy. <laughs> well, the interesting but, thing is, is like this right here, uh -huh. agents in my market center, 52.1 is, is where people are at. And so you can compare 
to all agents, oh, it's 52.6. Okay. Oh, okay. And then it just goes up a little bit in the top production bracket. Okay, there's no information there. Agents in my state, state is doing a little better. But you can you can do the comparison. Yeah, so you are 80%. So this this is the this test account. And so yeah, you can see the the database health. And if you click on that, then you can go into reports and and see different things there. Oh, okay. So we've got 100 percent football numbers, 99 percent email sentence. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you can see where it pulls that information yeah. from. Oh, okay. So, all right, let's see, we've got two things that we can do. So how about you pull out your computer? Okay. <clears throat> and then let's add some people to smart plans. All right, so open Chrome. Go to command. Oh, hold on, sorry. That's all right. All the icons look similar. Yeah. Perfect. All right, let's see, show me where the smart plans are. Yep. Yeah, you have quite a few in there already. So let's activate people on one of your smart plans. And then for a how you can take action is go figure out what you want to do for another smart plan. All right, so pick one of the smart plans. Um, let's get this on. Okay. Edit. Edit is the pencil icon. Yep. Wait, can I see the, the my whole ability is my neighborhood first? Or? Yeah, so if if we go and right click on there, open link in new tab. So you have a lot of phone numbers. Yeah. <laughs> this is what I expected, you know? Yeah. And then 1% emails, 1% mm -hmm. addresses, and 1% Right. Addresses. She's correct. So I'm going to say that your, well, look here. Um, Just looking and seeing what you're. Yeah, so this one, this one has a lot of tasks, and it would be a fantastic one for you to do. But you need the email. Address. So this one is doing a lot of tasks for yourself, and so you can add yourself to this one. So I would say my quarterly call plan because you have you have phone numbers, phone numbers. you actually have more phone numbers yeah, than email. Yeah. a lot of people yeah. oh, okay so and this is a my quarterly call plan so it's basically going to every quarter it's going to say okay call call this person okay and mm -hmm. this is a keller williams one so we don't need to edit it mm -hmm. so then we'll go back to contacts so we know which smart plan we're going to add. Mm -hmm. Based on what I have, yeah. Mm -hmm. 
All right. So you have 740 contacts mm -hmm. in here. Um, so how many, how many people do you want to contact each day? 10. 10? Yeah. Okay. So with the math, it's going to take you 74 days to get through that. Oh, okay. Right? Mm -hmm. And that is, that's going to be every day. It's it's not. Seven days? Yeah, seven days a week. So just just be aware of that, that it goes through the weekend too. Um, so, you know, maybe you, you could just be like, okay, my Monday is going to be a little heavier than yeah. the other days. So you oh, okay. You could double up on one day. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it'll just say yeah. it's past due, but you'll yeah. know. Oh okay. yeah, that was Saturday and Sunday. And so so I will show you how to do this once and then so you can select up to 500 at a time. You got 740 contacts in here. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna select there. So 500. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna click add to smart plan. Mm -hmm. All plan. Mm -hmm. Now it's going to say it's going to show all of the errors that are in there. Mm -hmm. I'm going to click add the plan anyway because they're missing the last right. Day. Okay. If it was missing the phone number, right? Maybe I would yeah consider it. Or if it said don't have the address or something yeah. like that. And when I'm talking to them, if you get their last name. Yep. And the email. Exactly. <clears throat> so do we want to start all now? Today? Is that how you would want to launch this? Mm. Remember, you can start all now, start all on the following date, or tell it how many stagger the start over the next few days. So Which on Monday? One? The Monday or what do you think? I'm going to say this one, stagger start over the next few days. Okay. Because if you choose this one, mm -hmm. then you would just be saying, okay, I want all 500 to start on Monday. Okay. So if we stagger the start over the next few days and we say maximum per day, I want to be, 10. let's oh. see, okay. let's do, let's do 10. Um, actually, this is in your whole database. So we have 740 total. Mm -hmm. We want to do 10. So let's do seven from this list. Mm -hmm. Because we do have the other 240. Oh, okay. Haven't that, added. Okay. So now I'm going to click to the next one. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's one. And then, so yeah, that's mm -hmm. 501 through 740. And then I'm going to select the bulk action, mm -hmm. add to smart plan, find it again, call plan, let's say missing last name, mm -hmm. add to plan anyway. And then I'm going to stagger that start. And so we have set, uh, 10 a day. I'm going to do three from that list. That makes sense? Yes. Okay. Got you. Got you. So then I'm going to hit confirm. Mm -hmm. And now what's going to happen is in your task list, this is going to start populating the same nice. quarterly call with Abijah. So then you will have that quarterly call. See, it's it's starting tomorrow. So okay. tomorrow you can start your day and say, okay, who do I need to call today? Mm -hmm. Rather than sitting down and being like, yeah, what do I do? <laughs> Why did I make this career? You can say, all right, these are the people I need to call. Okay. And then, and actually the same thing is going to show up on your phone okay. and command. So you can start your day, go to your task list and say, okay, I need to call him. Boom. Hey, you know, have yeah. the conversation. Right. And then click that the task was done. 
Okay, and so once you click the, once you click the task is done, I'm going to show you this here. It's going to say, do you want to add this activity to his timeline? And then you can say it was a call. What was the outcome? I left a message or we okay. had a great conversation and then write the description. Okay. So rather than writing it on post-it notes or writing it. Yeah. Here, there, and everywhere. There. Yeah, you have it all in one place. So when you pull up Abijah from now on, you can say, "Oh, yeah, that's right. We were talking. He's in interested in investment properties in Orlando. Awesome! Like, oh no, it was actually Kissimmee. We 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 had a yeah. further conversation, oh. and then you can work with more people and be more personal with more people." more yeah. often that's well, the whole point of more technology more often. so got it any questions and what are you tell me tell me two ahas or like things that you learned that's keller williams absolutely i've learned how to set up a smart plan and to reach out to uh, my contacts, that, that was one of my concerns. I didn't know where to start and how to start. <laughs> so now you gave me an idea. You, awesome. know, you just have those numbers in front of you. You have no idea what to do. So now that you gave me an idea, I will definitely put it to good use. Awesome. So that is my aha for the day. All right. Do you think that you can take this and run with this? Absolutely. Yeah. This is a great start for me. This just gives me like the motivation to get out there and start it. So this is definitely a task that I will definitely work on. Awesome. Very cool. Yeah. Well, I'm glad for that. And that's <laughs> our time. But if you have any questions, we can. Well, thank you so much. I appreciate that. Awesome class today. <laughs> and one more question, if you don't mind. Yeah.